Welcome back to another reseller income report. Today I'm going to be covering April and March, which are the two months that I was away. Sales did remain pretty steady during those two months and we will go over the total numbers towards the end of the video. And I will also break it down by platform and just speak on each platform individually and give an update as to how each platform is going. I did try out some new marketing tactics which did not go so well so I also want to talk a little bit about that at the end of the video. For now though, I do want to get into some highlight sales of the month. Starting off with a new category, new to me brands. I've never picked these up before. Maybe I've seen them at the thrift store before, but for some reason or another, I didn't pick them up. So this is my first time selling all of the brands that I'm going to be talking about. The first one on the list is these Aqua Talia Men's Casual Slip-On Brown Suede Loafer Shoes. These did not sell for the best amount. It was only a $30 sale and they didn't sell in the best days either because it took a total of 46 days to sell. So although this is not an outstanding sale, it's still pretty decent. And if you search on Poshmark, there are a lot of things by this brand that sell for high amounts. Specifically women's heels, there are some that go for $40, $50. And when it comes to boots, especially moto boots, I see some of those selling for up to $100. So this brand does have the potential to do well. I think that it is at least a good idea to do comps if you ever come across it at the thrift store. The next sale is this vintage Havana lace up bandana print sneakers. They sold on Poshmark for a total of $40 and these sold a lot more quickly than the previous one. It only took six days to sell. When I did comps on these shoes at the thrift store, it didn't look too, too promising just because this exact style wasn't coming up that much. Not a lot of solds were showing up, but because these shoes were literally in like new condition and they were only about eight or nine dollars, I was confident that I could make it work and I sure did. This next sale is on eBay and it was these Milwaukee slip resistant motorcycle boots. These sold for a total of $45 and they also sold within six days. I did see this brand at the thrift store at least a couple other times in the past but they had a price way too high like over $30 and after doing comps it just did not make sense for me to pick them up but these right here were a lot cheaper and they also were a very unique style with the kill tie and they were also slip proof they had a lot of cool features going on so I thought that it would be worth picking them up and finally trying out this brand to see how it does and it turned out to be a pretty good sale hopefully I keep finding this brand at more reasonable prices at the thrift store. Next up we have a Poshmark sale. It was these Fly London Mary Jane shoes. They sold for a total of $50 and these took a total of 16 days to sell. This is the same scenario as the last sale. I have seen it a couple of times at the thrift store. This exact style but I never picked it up because they seemed to price it up very high at the thrift stores and after doing comps I wasn't too confident that I'd be able to make my money back but with these right here they're actually from a flip client so I did not have to gamble and pay up front and now when I see these at the thrift store next time I will have a better idea as to what I can expect to get for them and I'll feel a little more confident paying up for them a little bit and if you don't know about flip I did talk about it in my previous video I explained a little bit of how flip works but basically all it is is a consignment app People give you inventory to sell for them and then once the items sell, y'all divide the profit depending on what y'all agreed on when y'all started the negotiation. If you want to learn more about it, go ahead and check out that video and if you'd like to apply and try it out, I'll leave a link in the description. This next one is on Poshmark as well and it was these Rome Quilted Chunky High Platform Wedge Sandals. 
They sold for $53 and these took a total of 12 days to sell. This was a very surprising sale to me. The major reason I decided to get them was because they were new attacks and I guess also because they were fairly cheap, about five or six dollars. I didn't know nothing about this brand previously and I honestly did not expect them to go for this much. But now that I see that it did and now I know how much I can expect for it, I am going to be on the lookout for it when I'm outsourcing. Moving on to the next category, which is going to be high price sales over the past two months. The first one, we're starting off with an eBay sale. It was these Morel Outdoor Trail Hiking Shoes. These sold for a total of $54.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. For all of my eBay sales, they always pay shipping. It's only when I'm really trying to get rid of items that I will put free shipping just to try to get them moving. But for the most part, I ask for shipping on eBay. They took a total of 56 days to sell. So that's quite a long time, not over my 90 day max that I like to sell items in, but still quite a bit. But that is only because I listed these shoes towards the end of February. And this type of shoe sells more during the spring and a lot more during the summer. Next high price sale is on Mercari. And we have these soft, slouchy moto boots. These sold for $56 and they sold in 13 days. This was such a good sale because for one, this is the most I've ever sold this brand soft for. Usually it goes for way less than this. I did comps and the comps were pretty high so I just went along with it and priced mine up high as well. The second reason why it was such a good sale is because these boots are also from a flip client. So I did not have to pay anything up front for these boots but I did have to split the cost 50-50 once they sold and I ended up making a final profit of $20.28 after fees and after paying out the client. But I think that is still very good for some boots that I did not have to pay up for initially. And also I get really happy when I make sales by Flip clients because that's just building up my repertoire over there on Flip. It's building up my numbers so that way I'm able to get more and better lots as I keep applying. Next sale is on Mercari and it was these Timberland waterproof slip resistant men's work boots. They sold for a total of $58 and they sold in 14 days. These type of boots are usually pretty pricey at the thrift store. They'll price them at like $50 or $60. So I try to only get them on half off days which $25 and $30 is still pretty pricey. But I've sold quite a few of these so I know that if they are in good condition and they are a great size that I'll be able to at least double my investment on these so I'm not scared to pay up that much for them. Next up on eBay we have these Hunter Sheet Fur Lined Rubber Snow Boots. They sold for $65 and they took 19 days to sell. These boots were so beautiful and I expected a lot more from them. I started the listing off at about $115 expecting to get maybe on the lowest $80 for them but this is an offer I received and I did not want to hold on to these boots for longer than I needed to. We were exiting the winter season and maybe I was having slow days around that time as well. Sometimes that's the reason why I accept lower offers than I expected. Either way, I still made a profit on these boots, a quite decent profit at that. So it's not bad overall. On Poshmark, we have these A6 Court FF Nova Clay Athletic Shoes. They sold for $70 and they took a total of 13 days to sell. Athletic shoes and men's shoes, those two categories I don't know too, too much about. I still have a lot of learning to do in those areas, but I had recently sold some shoes that were very similar to these, although they were women's. I had just sold those, so when I saw these, 
I saw there were men's and that the size was great and the condition was really good as well. I decided to pick it up because I thought that they would end up flipping for even higher than the women's did. I don't remember if that ended up being the case or not, but $70 for some sneakers is a great price. On to the highest price of all. In the past, my highest price sell is always boots, western boots, but as of lately, I've been kind of honing in on picking up mid-tier luxury purses. And so this time around, the highest price sell is actually a purse. It sold on Poshmark and it was this Coach Monogram logo brown canvas fuchsia trim shoulder bag. It sold for $72 and this purse was listed for 31 days. I find lots of coach bags and Michael Kors bags when I go out sourcing, but a lot of the time I have to pass up due to the price. But when I can find them for about $35 to $30, I'll pick them up if they are a decent style and if they have this all over monogram logo and some vibrant colors colors all the better for those I feel very confident paying up for because they usually flip for really good money in about a month or two. The last few items are what I'm going to call some flops because they didn't end up panning out so well. These are things that I've had sitting in my inventory for way too long. Some were flawed, some were just bad pickups overall. Starting off on eBay, we have this Happy and Nature Phoenix Butterfly Printed Mini Dress. It sold for $12.12 and this dress took a total of 346 days to sell. What mainly attracted me to this dress was that it was new with tags but also it's just a very beautiful spring summer like dress overall. I thought it had to do well but where I went wrong with this dress is that it did have a rip. I didn't check it well enough and I didn't see that at the thrift store. The thrift stores that I go to do not accept returns so I'm stuck with the dress either I have to take it to a consignment store redonate it or try to sell it as is which is what I did with this dress it eventually sold but took way too long so the big lesson there is to carefully check all of your items even if they're new with tags the next three I'm going to talk about really ended up doing bad because of this mindset that I always talk about where you think if you've done really well with a certain category in a certain brand you automatically think everything in that brand is going to do well but that is certainly not the case just because something does well in say jeans doesn't mean that their shoes will do well and vice versa and so these next set of sales is because of that it's just me not doing my comps not doing my research and that's why they ended up flopping like this logo by Lori Goldstein pull on stretchy pants they sold on Poshmark for $15 they took a total of 423 days to sell. And I picked these up because at this point in time, I was doing really well with plus size, Lori Goldstein t-shirts and blouses. And so I just automatically assumed that these would, at the very least, sell very quickly, just like the tops were selling. But I was very wrong. The next one, also on Poshmark, it was this Urban Outfitters BDG blue jean jacket. It sold for $12 and it was listed for 448 days. I picked this jacket up not because I was doing well with this a BDG brand by Urban Outfitters but because I was selling through quite a bit of blue jean jackets by other brands like Levi's and Lucky Brand so I just thought oh this one should do good as well but I was wrong. This brand did not pan out like I thought it would. As many of you know I try not to pick up that much clothes as of lately and so so I'm trying to get rid of most of it, sending out super low offers when possible. And this is the very last jean jacket I had. Next, we have um, Poshmark again, this Miss Me pleated sleeveless black satin knee length bow detail dress. As you can see, I was trying to stuff as many keywords as possible just to get this thing sold. It sold for $15 and this one took a total of $700 
in 10 days to sell. At this time, I was going through so many Miss Me jeans. As soon as I would post them, they would sell. So when I saw this Miss Me dress, again, I assumed this will be a fast seller. It would sell pretty quickly. And again, I was wrong. So again, do not assume that because you do well with a category and a brand that all categories by that brand will do well when you can do your comps i'm really bad at it i can really do a lot more work in that area but when possible do your comps just to make sure you're not going to be sitting with a piece for this All long. right now let's move on to the total numbers of the past two months in the past two months i made total sales of ten thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars that sounds like a lot imagine if that was only in one month but no that was two months so that equals out to about fifty two hundred a month item sold was a total of three hundred and thirty three so that's about one hundred and sixty six items each month which equals out to an average of about five to six items sold a day average selling price was $31 and the average cost of goods was $7.91. Overall, really happy with how March and April turned out. In March, I did have a couple of scares. I thought that the baby was coming because I was having false labor contractions and it never turned out to be the real thing. But either way, that put fire under my butt because it made me work that much harder to try to make sure that I was doing as much as I could to have my reselling business settled before I had the baby and had to take some time off. So I worked my butt off in March as much as I could because I was over nine months pregnant by that point. But I feel like all that work I put into March carried over into April. When it comes to April though, I was doing very little work. The baby was born April 6th, so those first two and a half to three weeks, I was completely exhausted and sleep deprived and getting very minimal work done. So maybe that lack of work is going to carry over into May. Sometimes that's the way it works. The work you put in now carries over. The work you don't put in now, you're going to see those effects in the following month or the following weeks. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. I'm doing what I can to prevent that from happening by relisting a lot and just doing a lot more sales on eBay and Poshmark and trying to put up as many new listings as well. But I'm also prepared to accept if there is a dip in numbers in May. All right, now let's talk about each platform and how it did and what I'm doing and how each platform is going. First off on Poshmark, the sales there over the past two months was $6,106. Poshmark is always my biggest contributor to my sales, my overall numbers month after month. It's always been that way. I guess it's because that's where I got started. It's where I have the most experience and the most time selling. This month, I did try a few new things to make more sales. One of them being switching how I market bundles. On Poshmark, there is a feature that you can turn on called bundle discounts. You can set the discount and how many items someone must put in a bundle in order to give them that discount. I turned that off for a while and instead I would message people directly letting them know that if they buy two or more items, they would get 30% off. But I decided, what if I change it to the bundle discount feature again? Just because I thought it'd be a lot less work, they would get that discount automatically. Poshmark would take care of that. And I didn't have to message every single person who had multiple likes in my closet. So I turned it off and what I did was create a banner that I added to my listings, letting people know about the discount so that they would take advantage of it. But I did not see success at all with this method. There was a lot more bundles being created every day, all day. People were creating bundles, but no one was going through with the purchase or very few people were. I had a couple people that did end up buying, but a lot of them would just let the bundles sit there and they would never end up purchasing so I went back to my previous method now I turned off the bundle discount and I'm reworking the message that I send to people to let them know 
like before that if they add two or more pieces to their bundle I'll give them 20 25 or 30 percent off I haven't decided what I'm going to do this time around but I just wanted to share that little bit just to share my experience with Poshmark's discount bundle it did not work out for me it works out better when I message people directly that way they can answer me I can send them the offer and then they go through with the purchase and not just let the bundle sit there and they never end up buying. On eBay, the past two months, I sold $3,269. So that's about $1,600 a month there, which I'm totally okay with. But I am still working towards hitting that $2,000 in sales in a month on eBay. I don't know why I have found it to be so difficult. Maybe it's because I sell on other platforms as well. So I'm constantly ending listings on eBay. And so I don't give it a chance to sell on eBay and for my sales to increase. So for that reason, I think I won't be able to hit that $2,000 milestone until I list a lot more on the daily basis and consistently as well. Maybe if I list 10 items every single day and never miss, then I'll be able to hit that milestone on eBay and maybe even surpass it. But for now, I'm not able to do that. I will eventually get there, hopefully, but for now, I'm good with where eBay is at. Then we have this problem child, Mercari. I sold a total of $1,020 there over the past two months. If you watch my previous reselling income reports, then you know that at one point, I quit Mercari altogether. Sales were just way too slow over there. I was having like three or four sales a week, but then one week I hit an all-time low and had only one sale on Mercari. And that's what did it for me. I decided to quit the platform altogether and I stopped listing any new items over there for about a month and a half, maybe two months. But in the end, I decided to go back and give it a try and see if things had changed. Since I've been back, sales have slowly been creeping up. Right now, I'm at about six or seven sales a week, which is still pretty low, but when it comes to Mercari, that's decent. And the good thing about that platform is that compared to Poshmark and eBay, the selling fees are pretty low. So hopefully we can maintain those six to seven sales a week over there. And once I start posting a lot more, then hopefully that starts to increase too. In the comments down below, let me know how have your sales been this spring? have they been up down steady let me know down in the comments below if you want to watch more reseller income reports like this one I will leave a playlist right here so go ahead and check those out and that's all for me today thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time